लड़की हो या लड़का हो पर वो स्वस्थ होना चाहिए मुझे उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता The birth of a child is a time of excitement, anxiety, and celebration for any family. For those who've gone through the experience, nothing comes close to the exhilaration of bringing life into this world. मेरा फर्स्ट बेबी हुआ था जो मेल चाइल्ड था वो पाँच दिन का होके उसकी डेथ हो गई थी मुझे उसके बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता था कि वो कैसे रखा जाता है उसको कैसे नहीं रखा जाता जब मुझे ये शोधा के लिए चुना गया और मुझे ये पता लगा कि छोटे बच्चों की देखभाल कैसे करी जाती है और उसके बारे में मैं किसी को बताऊँगी तो मुझे लगेगा कि जो कमी मेरे में थी वो आने वाली किसी भी माँ में नहीं हो जिससे उसको रख रखाव के बारे में पता लगेगा या उसे ये पता लगेगा कि बच्चे को क्या बीमारी है क्या लक्षण है क्या खतरे हो सकते हैं जो मुझे नहीं पता जिस वजह से मेरा बच्चा मुझसे चला गया तो मैं यह शोधा बनकर ये चाहती हूँ कि वो जो कमी है वो किसी भी माँ में नहीं रहे जो गलती मुझसे होगी वो किसी से भी नहीं दी यशोदा प्रोग्राम डेवलप्ड वेन दी जननी सुरक्षा योजना केम अबाउट एंड देर वॉज अ लॉट मोर वीमेन कमिंग टू हॉस्पिटल फॉर डिलीवरी सो वेन वी आर गेटिंग द मदर्स come to deliver in the facility we f- were looking around to see who could do this in the current system most of the women uh, went into hospital with no staff support the nurses the number of nurses was inadequate the doctors were were ill equipped so we felt an acute need for someone who could be a counselor to the mother who could engage with the system on behalf of the mother to get the best for the mother and her newborn the yashodas were sort of thought of as the additional manpower to support the mother psychologically and also give her counseling support for the mother and newborn in the hospital in the absence of any other person who could do the same in a hospital facility lena is a yashoda one of the many that are part of a project that was started by the Norway India Partnership Initiative in 2008 it was a joint effort with the state health societies of Madhya Pradesh Bihar Orissa and Rajasthan to provide counseling and support to women delivering in state run facilities nurse to ek patient jab andar aata hai to uska treatment carry out karti hai और पेशेंट को थोड़ा समझाती है कि डिलीवरी में इतना टाइम लगेगा लेकिन यशोदा तो उसको संतुष्ट करती है कि भाई ऐसा लेबर पेन में ऐसा होता है कि लड़की हो जाती है तो कई लेडीज तो उसको हाथ नहीं लगाती हैं तो ये लोग उसको कई बार समझा के और काफ़ी कोऑपरेट करती हैं की एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इंटरवेंशन इज दैट वी हैव नॉन क्लिनिकल वर्कर लाइक यशोदा who is trained equipped to deliver some of these postnatal care services we wanted four things to happen one is their retention for 48 hours in the system after delivery second was all the mandated services including the birth dose for immunization to be ensured third was weighing the babies because that predicted a lot of things as a forerunner fourth was immediate breastfeeding Yashoda intervention has really helped us to reduce the maternal and child health they have helped us and they were quite beneficial for us as a link between mother and the doctor and we could change the myth or the custom and belief which the rajasthani and the rural folks and the mothers who had a custom and belief ki we will not the feed the baby immediately after birth aur mere badi ladki hui thi वो हुई थी सुबह 11 बजे और उसको शाम को पिलाया था फिर जब यशोदा नहीं थी शाम को पिलाया था तारों की छाव में तो बच्चा रोता ही तो है ही होने के बाद उसको तो दूध चाहिए बच्चे को तो वो घर में बोलते हैं ना कि भाई तारों की छाव में दूध दुला के पिलाते हैं तो 
In many parts of India, all too often, the potentially blissful experience of motherhood becomes dramatic. Infant and maternal mortality continues to be high. While statistics can highlight the alarming reality on the ground, nothing can quite communicate the personal loss of losing a child or a mother in childbirth. The child was quite uh, vulnerable for because they used to give honey and that something. So they were more vulnerable for infections, diarrhea, dysentery, septicemia. So these uh, infection rate has reduced. Yasoda, who is going on today, has got a lot of help from them. When my child was in operation, we didn't go to bed, we didn't go to bed, we didn't go to bed, we didn't go to bed. तो ये तुरंत आ जाती बच्चे को दूध पहले साफ करके फिर कई बार इन्होंने दूध पिलाया जो हमारे साथ बुजुर्ग लेडीज थी उनको शिकाया कि ऐसे पिलाओ ये लेटे लेटे हैं तो बच्चे को जैसे बुखार हो गया तो तुरंत डॉक्टर को बुला लाई पहले ऐसा नहीं था हमको ही जाना पड़ता था डॉक्टर के पास यशोदा शुरू से पेशेंट से मिक्सअप हो जाती है जबकि नर्सिंग स्टाफ को इतना टाइम नहीं है कि वो यशोदा पेशेंट से लेडी जो आई है उससे इंटरेक्ट कर सके उसके बारे में पूछ सके यशोदा उसके बारे में पूछेगी कौन सी डिलीवरी है क्या है कितना पहले कैसे डिलीवरी हुई थी घर के बैकग्राउंड के बारे में पूछेगी तो यशोदा शुरू से ही फिर एट द टाइम ऑफ लेबर उसको थोड़ा रिएशोर करेगी जो काम एक बिजी नर्सिंग स्टाफ जो नहीं कर पाता वो यशोदा संभाल लेती है आफ्टर डिलीवरी है बच्चे की स्पेशल केयर है मैं जहाँ तक समझता हूँ एमएमआर में भी थोड़ा सा कमी आई है ये शोधों के बाद में। हर बार में तुम्हें ये शोध मिलेगी, इस बार में आप चाहोगे वहाँ पे ये शोध मिलने भी लेंगे, कोई भी परेशानी हो, कोई भी दिक्कत हो तो आप ये शोध से फ्रेंड्स को बात करें, बोलें। उनका रोल है जो गर्भवती महिला है, उसको जब वो कई तो ऐसी होती हैं जिनके साथ में उनके रिश्तेदार भी नहीं होते तो जो उनको तसल्ली देती हैं लेबर रूम में उनके पास में खड़ी रहती हैं उनको सहलाती हैं उनको तसल्ली देती हैं कि हम तुम्हारे साथ हैं Since the Yashodas are from within 5 kilometers of health centers it is not uncommon for new mothers to keep in touch and consult the Yashoda even after they are home with their families There grows a trust and the beginning of a relationship through the infant. Nippi's Yashoda program hoped to fill the critical gap of better counseling and care in crowded health facilities for both the mother and the child. Initially, uh, the induction training was given to them. The training module was designed by Nippi, North India Partnership Initiative, and that was very simple. The training it was made so that it can be easily imparted to uh, uh, eight class standard pass women. Uh, so accordingly the manual was prepared and uh, the initial training was of three days and it was called induction training. And that was imparted to these Yashodas. And after that training only uh, they were put to work. So we had to set up a whole system of training the trainers which we facilitated then going to the district level, you know, the, who the trainers are, then we had to develop material for them. We had flip charts developed, we had registered to be monitored, so we trained them up. The second system was this whole payment system. How would Yashodas at the end of the day get payment through the system? So the system of payment had to be worked out from the state to the district, to the district facility and to the Yashoda. Actually, uh, to begin with, it was thought that uh, we will run the program for uh, one and a half year or two years. And then during that period, the state can just look if it is going on well, if it is delivering some good results, then the sh uh, state should adopt it. And definitely the state has very quickly, it has liked the program because within six months of starting the program, to begin with, we had started in three districts, Alva, Bharatpur and Dosa. But within six to eight months, straight uh, definitely liked it so much that they requested us 
to upscale the program in all the districts. The process of scaling up requires very careful preparation and the need is uh, very obvious to the states, those who have done it in three districts because that's what we said, we will demonstrate and then we learn from it and the, as we go along the state learns from it and takes it forward. Some of the things that we found very interestingly around the process of Yashoda is that uh, in a particular district in Rajasthan where we were monitoring the bird dose immunization and in spite of Yashoda being there, it was not going beyond 70 percent. And when we probed further, very interestingly what we found that about 72 days, that means 20 percent of the days there was no immunization either because these are Sundays or holidays. So we brought it to the notice of the state government and the principal health secretary who immediately realized that this was a systems gap and he then sent out a circular, instructed every single facility must have immunization to be given every single day. And then when we monitored in the same place, the Zanana Hospital in Bharatpur, it shot up to 90% plus. The Yashoda program led to an increase in postnatal care in the intervention areas. It was found that mothers of Alwar District Hospital were four to five times more likely to receive postnatal checkups as opposed to mothers in Savai Madhapur, the control district. A home-based newborn care program is also being supported by NIPI in the intervention areas. There is a need to look at them as a cadre and to see where it would be going in, let's say, a few years' time. And there we are working, trying to understand from the system what are the different possibilities. It's good to have this whole progression and career progression in mind. Uh, but this we are firming up with the system because uh, it's basically the health system which has them. So it's still being worked out. But everyone feels the need for a kind of a career progression. Giving birth is one thing. Sustaining life, another. The Yashoda's role is to sustain and nurture so that every child has a better chance of living.